It does not matter how hungry they may feel. For as long as they have had the first portion of their meal, they have to wait for the next meal at the scheduled time. These birds feast on 48 kilograms of chicken feeds a day. We don't only feed them because they wanted to eat. We feed them according to the rate that they're supposed to eat. Like right now, there is no feed for them. After lunch, we shall give them. The feeds are ground from within National Farmers Leadership Center and served according to the capacity they can finish. In different age groups, we make them eat the different feeds that we formulate from here. So currently, that is what we are doing. At three months, they are supposed to lay eggs for at least one year, in line with arrangements at the center. So this one is uh, three months, and we are keeping them, and they are supposed to lay for one year. The other side, we have uh, 300 eggs. The eggs are then kept in an incubator to enable proper hatching for 21 days before more chicks are produced. The yellow yolk eggs are also preserved for sale whose prices go slightly above that of ordinary eggs. All our chicks, from the broilers that we are giving to our farmers, we are hatching them here. This incubator has the capacity of hatching 1,200 chicks. The bottom line here being not just to make money, but train farmers on improved methods of farming. <laughs> National Farmers Leadership Center. Kampiringisa in Impigi district is where it all starts. The Korean founded center is bent on mindset change and one does not have to move far to prove the success of this initiative. So the center is fully run by the government, but the cooperation between Korea and the Uganda is still continuing. And on visiting Impigi district local government, it is all appreciation from the district production officer, James Serwada. We have the National Farmers Leadership Center, which is actually implementing agriculture uh, with a focus of basically trans tra transforming the mindset of people. In a district with a population of 250,000 people and 60,000 households, this is the positivity that experts seek to instill in farmers. And what we want to do is we want to work with Uganda for, uh, to help with agricultural development. We are purely uh, an agricultural district, uh, growing basically food crops and cash crops. So we train leaders who will be able to mobilize others. We train them in mindset change, and uh, then they are able to, to mobilize the community and change their minds also for the development. Uh, we have been having challenges of drought, and it has actually affected the food situation in Fiji. And we think maybe with the intervention of the World Bank and Korea Exim Bank, we shall be addressing issues of climate change. With agriculture said to be the core sector of Uganda's economy, having such initiatives as partnership with Korean World Bank could steer the economy further. And this is the wish of National Leadership Farmers Center according to its principal, Zach Muyaka. Henry Okrut, UBC.